James Gunn debunks Superman villain rumours, David Cornswet talks about the vibe of the upcoming Superman movie, and a copy of Action Comics No. 1 sells for $6 million. Welcome to the Speeding Bulletin, your Superman highlights video bringing you up to speed on everything that took place in the world of Superman from April 3rd to April 9th, 2024. Hi, I'm Steve Eunice. Before we check out these news stories and more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell so you'll receive a notification whenever we post a new video. In movie news, director James Gunn shot down rumours circulating around the internet that the main villain of the upcoming Superman movie is Ultraman or anyone other than Lex Luthor. Outlandish rumours had Ultraman as the main villain of the film, but no, not the evil version of Superman from an alternate reality that you might know, but a clone created by Lex Luthor. Posting on his Thread social media account, Gunn wrote, The primary protagonist of Superman is, shockingly, Superman. The main villain of Superman is, shockingly, Lex Luthor. I don't know where all the stuff is coming from, that it's something other than this. There are so many stories coming out every day, it's difficult to deal with, and every time I strike something down, I'm giving it attention. So I'll say again, don't believe anything unless you see it here. And why would you want to know everything before the movie comes out anyway? Appearing in Atlanta for a screening of his new film, The Greatest Hits, actor David Cornsweet has reportedly described the upcoming Superman movie as having the vibes of Superman for All Seasons and All-Star Superman, but still being very much its own story. According to David Thompson, the senior editor at The Direct, Cornsweet is the nicest guy in the world, absolutely huge, great handshake. If you're interested, The Greatest Hits, Corin Sweat's upcoming movie, will premiere on Hulu on April 12. Appearing as the guest on Late Night with Seth Meyers last week, actor Wendell Pierce spoke about his excitement to portray Daily Planet editor Perry White in James' upcoming Superman movie. While admitting he knew very little about the role, having never read comic books growing up, Pierce nevertheless expresses his excitement for the role. This, I mean, I, I never grew up reading comics uh um so i relied on my friends to tell me about it you know yeah as you can see i have a problem with memory um <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm excited about this you know but like i said you may know more about it than i do right now directed by james gunn superman is scheduled to be released july 11th 2025. according to deadline.com filmmaker craig gillespie best known for films such as cruella and i tonya is in talks with warner brothers dc studios to direct the upcoming film Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. With James currently in production on 2025 Superman movie, the report claims that the Supergirl movie would look to start filming in the fourth quarter of 2024. Millie Alcock, who has already been cast in the lead role, will reportedly first appear in 2025's upcoming Superman movie before starring in Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. Angela Baum Casting posted a casting call for extras in the Cleveland area interested in working on the upcoming Superman film. Using the production code name Genesis, the casting calls will begin around end of April, early May. People who are interested are encouraged to follow Angela Baum Casting on Facebook or Instagram to stay informed of any casting opportunities, as well as instructions on how to submit for the project. Visit our website for the links. There's no TV news this week. We still are waiting on details for season four of Superman and Lois, which we know will premiere sometime around September, October this year for the final season of the show. And we're still waiting on word for the premiere date of My Adventures with Superman, the animated series. So stay tuned for all those details as they come to hand. On the comic book side of things, an original 1938 edition of Action Comics number no. one, Superman's debut issue, has sold for $6 million at Heritage Auctions, making it the most expensive comic book of all time. With a CGC Very Fine Plus 8.5 grading, the auction for the Kansas City Pedigree copy of Action Comics number no. 1 ended on April 4th, creating history. Congratulations to whoever the lucky and very wealthy winner was. Additionally, the three-page letter written in 1934 by Superman's co-creator Jerry Siegel, in which he tells artist Russell Keaton about the idea behind his new fantastic comic strip character, has sold at auction for $264,000 at Heritage Auctions as well. In 1982, Spanish-Argentine artist Jose Luis Garcia Lopez was hired to design an in-house document, the DC Comics Style Guide, delivering a consistent look and characterization for DC superheroes that influenced comics, animated series, action figures, toys, clothes, lunch boxes, trading cards, sticker books, and much more. The model sheet became the standard reference for DC artists and license holders working on DC releases for decades, and in July, 
key character turnarounds have been pulled from the legendary DC Comics style guide to be featured for the first time on a set of Artist Spotlight variant covers honouring Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Look for Artist Spotlight variant covers on Superman number 16, Batman number 150, Green Arrow number 14, Green Lantern number 13, Shazam number 13, The Flash number 11 and Wonder Woman number 11. As for Superman comic books available this week from April 9th, they include Action Comics 1064, which is available in six different variant covers. Sinister Sons number three comes in two variant covers. Suicide Squad Dream Team number two also comes in two variant covers. And DC vs. Vampires Volume 2 Trade Paperback. Our reviewer Mark Lax has submitted his review of Action Comics 1064, giving it a 5 out of 5 rating, saying, That was some issue. It's great to see Brainiac back in the main Superbooks. And what's with all the Lobos? You can read his full review at our website, and you can purchase all these new comic books through our website as well. Look for the links in the show notes below this video. Every good reporter needs a notepad, so why not make it a Superman notepad, notebook, or journal? Get this handmade Superman embossed leather journal notebook for $19.99. And how about this Superman Daily Planet hardcover book journal, yours for $7.05. These and other Superman journals and notebooks are available through the Superman homepage online shopping page at supermanhomepage.com shop. Before we get into the rest of this week's news, if you're finding this video interesting or entertaining in any way, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you'd like to support the Superman homepage, then you can become an official member of our YouTube channel with different levels of perks. All you have to do is click the Join button below, or you can become a sponsor through patreon.com slash Superman homepage. So in the rest of this week's news, TNT Sports, Warner Brothers Games, and the National Hockey League are joining forces to bring viewers a clash of excellence in hockey and real-time animation for the first ever Multiverses NHL face-off on Sunday, April 14th, at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, exclusively on True TV and Max's BR Sports add-on. The animated presentation of Avalanche at Golden Knights will use the NHL's innovative NHL Edge tracking technology to recreate the action on the ice as it happens in real time, featuring the characters of Multiverses alongside avatars of the NHL's biggest stars. Multiverses is scheduled to officially launch on May 28th. For more information, visit multiverses.com. Superman fans in Alabama, Michigan, and Virginia will want to get along to local conventions taking place next weekend, as a number of Superman-related celebrities will be in attendance. Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo in Alabama is on from April 12th to April 14th. Dean Kane will be there on Friday and Saturday, while Brandon Ralph will be there for all three days. Grand Rapids Comic Con in Kalamazoo, Michigan is on from April 12th to April 14th. Brett Breeding and Josie Campbell will be there for all three days. While Big League Comic Con Nova in Chantilly, Virginia is on from April 13th to April 14th, John Beattie along with other comic book creators will be there for both days. That's all the news there was for the week April 3rd to April 9th. I hope those people in the USA who caught the solar eclipse enjoyed the occasion. It looks like people in Metropolis, Illinois at the Superman statue sure had a good time. I'm Steve Eunice. I'll catch you next week.